After seeing the Mantis Pampered, I decided I needed some R&R &R myself. I chose shopping therapy. Shopping in Bali is truly a unique experience. Now I came to these markets because I heard there's some really, really good sandals, so I'm going to see what price I can get. Okay, how much? I don't need anybody's mama's okay. Were you okay? 60 what? 60,000? Okay, the secret in Bali is never take your first price. Is that the best price you can do? Yeah, how much do you? Shop wisely but fairly. You can still get a bargain or a great souvenir, or the locals support themselves. Just like the Manta and Rats, that's another win-win situation. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Should I go and get a fat egg? Thirty-five is better, so I go back. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey. How much? I mean, not to have price, yeah, not fifty, not fifty. Now I've got to see which one looks best. Now, what colour do you like? Now, I will buy a pair of shoes because I've run them around. Green. Green. No, 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 35. Okay. Price goes up. You gotta watch them. The best way to see Bali is by getting your own guide. For just $20 a day, you can get, for the whole day, a taxi to take you out to the countryside. Bali's a great base from which to explore this amazing region. This is Bali at its best. We're out of the hustle and bustle of the city and into the countryside. It's magnificent. Just layers and layers and layers of rice food. It's great when you get out into the countryside of Bali that you actually see the locals doing what locals do. So these guys are cutting rice at the moment. What they are doing here is the ladies are actually beating the grass and the rice falls out of that grass. Now if you take a look at this grass, it still has the husk on it. So what they do is they take it, they clean it, they put it in bags and they take it to the market. It takes a whole day to fill up one bag like this. And a family of Balinese can actually live on about one dollar a day. This certainly makes my life look unnecessarily complicated. Small family industries are everywhere, on all scales. where they actually make salt. See the little houses in between? From large family concerns to the individual trying to make a living. What do you want, Mum? Although this sensation was very much like being in the middle of the shark feeding frenzy. Touching what I hoped was a bargain, I moved on. There was another boat to catch. Only this boat practices a very destructive fishing technique called cyanide fishing. I just had to confront them. 